Yo, Tyler here. I just want to wish everyone a happy Canada Day. Shout out to all you people. Uh, but what I was thinking about doing, it, since it's the 150th birthday of Canada, and that I've been really focusing on wrestling, especially that that's happening in Ontario, I decided why not talk about the entire country? And I'll break it down province by province by province. So, I'm going to start off with British Columbia. So bear with me, this will probably be a very long video, sorry about it, but I hopefully I can give you some good information for you people, and maybe I'll bring something you don't know, or and if I leave something out, you can message me and tell me something that I don't know. And trust me, there was a lot to talk about. So, to begin, okay, so British Columbia. I want to start off with All-Star Wrestling. The reason why, because it was a formerly an NWA uh, organization, which ran from 1962 to 1989. Then it went fizzled out, but then it came back recently, back in 2007. And it's been going ever since. Um, it's based in Vancouver. And I believe they're having their 10th anniversary event this month. And um, a lot of interesting things happened with this. But it's mainly with most information I was able to find was reference to when it was part of the NWA. And you had some alumni like Abdul the Butcher, the Iron Sheik. Jay Youngblood, Rick Rude were some of the people named. You also had people like Playboy, uh, Buddy Rose, and Mr. X. And also, uh, near the end of its original run, uh, you might all know him as the like one of the biggest announcers going. Mauro Ranello had his start with this organization. Then we have Big Rest Wrestling. Say that three times fast while drinking. Um, it started in 2011. It's based in Kelowna. Um, and it's having uh, the next event will, is Crazy from the Heat 5, which will take place at the Lake City Bowling and Billiards. And uh, some of the People that are involved with this are Mad Dog, Maddie Sugar. This is a funny damn name if I don't if I say so myself. Cougar Meat Kid. Um Colin Cutter, The Black Dragon, Nick Price, Shotgun Stevens, who has been twice two years in a row now, been voted most hated star. In Big West Wrestling. And then you have Danny Deeds. Also, I believe there might be a link with this one to another one that I'm going to mention very shortly Thrash Wrestling. Because when looking on the Big West website, they did have links uh, to Thrash events on there as well. So, possible collaboration. And then also, you have Elite Canadian Championship Wrestling, which started all the way back in 96. And it was formerly known as the Extreme Canadian Championship Wrestling, based in Vancouver. And some of the alumni, it's like, there's quite a few big names that came up from this organization. People like Tyson Kids. Uh, Kyle O'Reilly, Tyler Breeze, Emma, Becky Lynch, and Bailey, just to name a few. Also, a fun fact, Bailey, while wrestling as Ivana Rose, was uh, lost the match to Casey Spinelli for the ECCW Women's title back in 2012. Shout out to my boy Brian. I know how much you love Casey Spinelli. And that's a little fun fact for you that you can bring up now. 
Then, as I mentioned a little earlier, you have Thrash Wrestling based in Okagagan. 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 I'm sorry, I can't. Okagagan. Okay, but the next show for this event will take place at the Armstrong Metal Fest featuring the uh, current champion, AMF champion, Black Dragon, facing former champion, Slave. Very interesting about that. And the last one I found is Vancouver Island Pro Wrestling, which started back in 2013. Based in Nanaimo. Nani? Nanaimo? No. And the next show will happen on... There's a couple shows happening. The next show will be July 21st, live at the Legion at the Langford Station. Royal Canadian Legion at 761 Stratton Avenue. If anyone's in the Vancouver area, check it out. And the main event is an eight-man tag match featuring Nolan James, Nathan Legacy, the champion, Crofton, and a mystery par partner versus the uprising, Zach, uh, Zach Merkin, Eli Surge, Judas I Icarus, and Felix Ma Flex Matthews with Father Juan. And also you have a women's championship match with the champion, Nicole Matthews, uh, defending against Rhea Von Slasher. Interesting. And then on July 22nd, you have Bathtub Weekend Bash. In that animal. It's going to be at the Departure Bay Activity Center at 450 Wingrove Street. And the main event is a four-way, fatal four-way for the championship, uh, the main championship. The VIPW Championship with champion Crofton defending against Cremator Von Slasher, Scott Steele, and Eli Surge. I'm hoping I'm pronouncing these names right. First time I'm reading them because I like I don't know any of these scenes that are happening outside of Ontario, but it's fun to research this. And if I'm pronouncing anything wrong, please let me know. Much thanks. And there is a couple uh, defunct uh, organizations. One was, and everyone that was in Victoria done. And one of them was Victoria City Wrestling that was only around for one year, and that was in 2005. As well, you had uh, West Coast Championship Wrestling from 91 to 96, which was based in Vancouver. Kind of wish that one was still going because it sounds pretty cool. Then let's shift over to Alberta. First one, Monster Pro Wrestling. Started in 2002, based in Edmonton. And the first show I saw is happening on July 1st at the Alberta Avenue Community Center at 9 10, 210. 118 Avenue and some of the people that participate in Monster Pro Wrestling are your MPW Heavyweight Champion, the Irishman, P MPW uh, Provincial Champion, the Dynamic Dean Richard, Massive Damage and he's part of a tag team called Tattoo Ter Terminators with Jackhammer and Kato. Then you also have um, another uh, thing uh, organization happening in Edmonton is Prairie Wrestling Alliance, which happened and started in 2001. I'm unsure if it's still going because I found no information about this. Like the internet was down, like their website was down. There was like I got nothing except that it's based in Edmonton. Then you have Pure Power Wrestling, which 
started in 2010, based in Lethbridge, and they have many of the same people that uh, Monster Pro Wrestling has, which is including Massive Damage, which is their champion, the Primate Silverback, Tyler James, the Irishman, Killer B, and Killer B. And some of the alumni, which were pretty cool, you had Dan the Beast Severn, Gangrel, and the Cuban Assassin all participate in this um, organization. Then we have Real Canadian Wrestling, starting in 20, 2003, based in Edmonton. Again, no information about this organization, and I don't even know if it's still active or not. Um, again, the defunct ones, all based in Cal like all Calgary-based wrestling is gone. Some of the bigger names were Canadian Rocky Mountain Wrestling, which happened between 92 and 95. Heart Legacy Wrestling, which just went on for, in 2013. And then one of the big ones was Stampede Wrestling, which happened in 1948 to 1989. Then again in 1999 to 2003. And this one is huge. You have the legendary... The late, great Stu Hart was the original person for this organization. And also, for a year or so, he had the uh, biggest owner possible owning a Canadian organization. Vincent McMahon. Yes, WWE's Vincent McMahon was an owner for with of step. Uh, Stampede Wrestling for a year or so. And some of the alumni, of course, you're going to have some big name alumni. Bret Hart, the late great Owen Hart, the late great British Brawler, uh, the late Brian Pillman, the late uh, Junkyard Dog, and the late Chris Benoit. Yes, I know a lot of them are now dead, but those, but these guys all made huge contributions to the wrestling industry. So of course I'm going to bring them up. Then we continue going east and we hit the flatness that is Saskatchewan. And one of them is, uh, this one looked pretty big, but this one is like one of the few that I found a lot of information on. It is High Impact Wrestling Canada. And it started in 98, based out of Regina. And there's quite a few events happening in July. Like you got uh, three straight days in uh, Moose Jaw during their uh, sidewalk days. So that goes on from July 6th to the 8th. Then on, they also have a show on July 7th at the Hungarian Club in Regina. Uh, July 20th at the Sutherland Hall in Saskatchewan. And then another one, I decided to pull this one out of all the other ones I listed because it actually has a name to it. And it's Pile of Bones Rumble 22. Yes, they've had this event 22 times. And it will take place at the Hungarian Club in Regina. And the some of the members of this roster, if you can let me know if, if they... Are bigger names outside of Saskatchewan, or is it just limit? Are they just limited to Saskatchewan? Uh, you got the uh, their heavyweight champion, blue-eyed idol Tyler Colton, lucky lady, Lady Luck, VIP, Skyfly, Jeff Tyler. And the beautiful beast, Brett Morgan. I wonder if he's related to Matt Morgan in any way. <laughs> Just interesting. And then also, we have the only other active uh, organization in Saskatchewan is Ringside Wrestling, which started in 2014, based out of Moose Jaw. And they got two events happening 
uh, in the month of July. Um, first one is Wrestle Wars at the Eastview Community Center at 615 8th Avenue, which is happening in Regina, and uh, Battle at the Fort, which is at Fort Coppel. I and it's going to be at 564th Street East. And the uh, main event for the uh, Wrestling War one is going to be the North American Heavyweight Champion, the German Juggernaut, Moose Locke, Luke, taking on Crazed Cowboy, Jacob Creed. Uh, there's no information about the other event on the 22nd, so... They do have a Facebook page, so check them out if you're in the Saskatchewan area, or if you plan to be in Saskatchewan anytime in July. And some of the defunct ones that no longer exist are uh, Professional Outlaw Wrestling, that was based in Saskatchewan, and that went from 2001 to 2005. Gold Dragon Wrestling in Moose Jaw, which was from 2008 to 2014. Again, another one that I was hoping was still around. And then Hardcore Wrestling, or also known as Wild West Wrestling. Oh, for feet's sakes, try to say that Well, drinking. And that went on from 96 to 98. Again, another one I wish was still going on because there's not many hardcore leagues around. But I'll talk about that when I get to Ontario. Okay, as we continue our trip across Canada, we hit Manitoba. And in Manitoba, there is one of the biggest wrestling organizations I have seen in Canada. It spans four provinces. They have shows in four provinces. Like, no, Can no Ontario independent uh, organization can say that. No, well, maybe one soon, but I'll say that, talk about that one later. But they constantly have events in other provinces, so of course I'm going to highlight this one a lot and talk about it. And it's Canadian Wrestling Elite, which started in 2009. It's based out of Winnipeg, uh, Manitoba. And, like I say, it does a lot of shows. It covers the entire pra prairies. They have shows in Alberta. They have shows in Saskatchewan. They have shows in Manitoba. As well, they hit northern Ontario a couple times a year. Which is kind of good for northern Ontario because so far, I have yet to find a single organization that's based out of northern Ontario. Getting to that later. But, these guys are going on a summer long tour of those provinces it's going to start on July 31st and it's going to be starting in Stonewall Manitoba on July 31st and it will go all the way to August 20th when it ends up in Sault Ste. Marie Ontario and like I say they're going they have dates in Manitoba, Saskatchewan, Alberta, and Ontario. And they are featuring some big name stars. They're going to have former TNA X Division champion Johnny Devine. They're going to have the Bullet Club Zone Chase Owens there. They also have three time CWE champion Hotshot Danny Duggan, as well as a few. Our uh, Ring of Honor stars, they got Jonathan Gershaw, the pretty badass Kelly Klein, and Salas Young. As well, they have NWA and WCW legend, the Russian Nightmare himself, Nikola, Nik Nikita Kozlov, Kolov. And you're wondering... What is this tour called? So I can check it out. Um, the tour is called A Nightmare on uh, Elite Street. 
I will post the link to this tour in the description below so you can see where it's going to be during those days. And there's a few other ones, but again, no information about these uh, organizations. So unknown if they still run or not. But I'm leaning towards that they're still active. But I don't know for sure. And they're all based out of Winnipeg. Um, and you got Premier Championship Wrestling, Primus Wrestling Canada, and Union of Wrestling. They also have a couple of defunct ones that no longer run. You got WFX Wrestling, and it's gone from 2007 to unknown. They don't have an unknown date. So, again, I am uncertain if this one's still running, but there is no, like, they don't, nothing updated about these. So, it's hard to tell if they're still active or not, because I am not in Manitoba to, t to find this out. I'm here in southern Ontario. You also have International Wrestling Alliance, or also known as West 4 Wrestling, which happened in from 1974 all the way to 2000. So that was a long time that that one ran. And also you have Supercard Wrestling, which happened from 1979 to 1984. And now we get to my home province. W one, the only, Ontario, as you can see, full Ontario swag here. And you all know I talk about Ontario wrestling organizations, so I'm not going to go through them as like I did for the other provinces, because you can easily check out one of my other videos. I'll share a couple of the links at the end of this video to my wrestling in Ontario movies videos. But there are a lot of organizations in Ontario. I'll go through some of them that I know are active, some that I don't know what the status of them are, so they could either be active or defunct, and some that are completely defunct. They're gone. They're done. So the ones that are active, well, you got the Great Alpha One Wrestling. That always brings you quality pro, uh, events. Like we've had big name stars such as the Unbreakable Mikey Michael Eggling, Carl, former WWE Intercontinent United States Champion Carlito, former WWE Intercontinental Champion Cody Rhodes, who will be at the next event, which is July thirtieth. In Hamilton, Ontario, at the Knights of Columbus. So keep an eye out for my uh, hype videos for that. As well, they've had ROH Star Cheeseburger, um, International Stars Beta Scott. So it's like they've always brought in top notch people. As well, you got Barry Wrestling, which is having a three day event up in Barry. So pretty self explanatory where that one's located. You also have Border City Wrestling, which is created by the great Scott Damore. And that is based in Windsor, Ontario. You got Rock Solid Pro Wrestling, which is based more north. So it's the Bracebridge, Muskoka, Sudbury, Perry Sound, that area. As well as you got uh, C4 which is based in Ottawa. They have many big things that happen. Uh, I'm hoping to eventually go see a C4 show sometime in the upcoming year, hopefully. As well as you got championship, classic championship wrestling. Mm, but I prefer to go by its other name, Stevel Championship Wrestling, which is mainly focused in the southern part of Ontario, so like Chatham and Windsor and Kent, that area. Then you also have Championship Wrestling International, which is in Brantford. You got uh, PWA, which was 
is a um, splits time between British Columbia and uh, Ontario, and the Ontario portion of it is based in uh, Kitchener. You have Conflict Wrestling, which is also based in Kitchener. Crossfire Wrestling, based from St. Catharines. Theft Proof, yes, we do have an active, hardcore organization, wrestling organization, and that's based in Southwest Ontario, so the Toronto, Hamilton area. A possible return of New School Wrestling in the Georgetown area. Uh, owned by Steve, the Bone Crusher Brown. They just had their comeback, back in business show. And I'm hoping that I can go see their next show because I was working during that show. And I missed it, which I'm really pissed off about. You also have Destiny Pro Wrestling, which I was talking about Canada Wrestling Elite. Uh, how it's been on four provinces. Well, Destiny has made strides into both Quebec and will have a show in August in Nova Scotia. So it is also starting to branch out into other provinces. If it's going to be permanent or not, don't know. But my money's on Destiny becoming like the big one in Ontario because it's based in Miss Mississauga and in on July 22nd, they're hosting an event and they're bringing up a independent organization from the U.S. based in New York, House of Glory. And in September, they're going down to the U.S., which in history is the first Canadian international wrestling, uh, independent wrestling organization to go international. That means to do a show outside of Canada. You also have Lucha Tio, which you know is based in Toronto. Pro Wrestling Elite Eclipse, based in Oshawa. Smash Wrestling, another solid organization that brings you quality product. And on August 13th, they are having their big show, Super Showdown 5, featuring Impact Heavyweight Champion Bobby Lashley. As well as you got Super Kick, based in Toronto. Acclaim Pro Wrestling and CrossFit Pro Wrestling. I don't know where they're based out of, really, so I can't give you much more information about those at the moment. And then you have some that are, I don't know if they're still running. They say they are online, but I can't find any verification for it. I can't find a secondary source outside of Wikipedia for these. And it's uh, Trend Wrestling Entertainment. Entertainment based in uh, Toronto, Mecca Pro Wrestling, which is happening in Cornwall, Cornwall, Big Time Pro Wrestling in uh, Ottawa, Squared Circle Wrestling in Toronto, Steel City Pro Wrestling in Hamilton. That one I think is still active because I do follow it a bit on Facebook, but they haven't posted anything since like April, and they haven't had a show since last year. As well as Hogtown, that's based in Toronto. They did have a show back in June, but because of there's no more Community Rogers channel, they might no longer produce shows, so I'm uncertain about it. That's why I put it in this list. As well as Neo Wrestling, which is in Niagara Falls, and I think it's still active. They say it's not, but they're having a, they're, they still have champions. They might not produce shows, maybe, but they still have people representing them as champions because in August they're doing a show with CrossFit, Crossfire, my bad, and the main event is an, the Neo Heavyweight titles on the line with Congo Kong as their champion defending it against Rob Rage. So I'm wondering, is the organization defunct and that they still use a championship, or what's going on there. And like I say, here's some defunct ones. Apocalypse Wrestling Federation, based in Toronto, which, which went from 98 to 2004, and then went again again in 08, but didn't go anywhere after that. 
Fringe Pro Wrestling, which happened in Ontario from 2013 to 2016. Reason was financial. Someone stole a bunch of their equipment and they had to close their doors. Hopefully someone with money will bring Fringe back to prominence. Here's probably one of the oldest ones I found. Maple Leaf Wrestling, based in Toronto from 1930 to 1986. Rage Wrestling Entertainment, based in Ottawa from 2005 to 2012. And TWA Powerhouse, which was based in St. Catharines from 2008 to 2013. Sorry it's going long, but I'm trying to speed this up as best as I can. Okay, now we're in Quebec. So, you know I'm just going to... Because half the stuff is in French, and I don't read French. Can't read or say French much. But I'll try my best. All these organizations are based in the Montreal, so I'm not going to go through that much more. You got Interspecies Wrestling that started in 2005. And it's currently in hibernation as of July, January of this year. And the last event was in, it was back in November of last year. And it was Make Wrestling Great Again. As well, you have the International Wrestling Syndicate. Interesting name. And it went from two, 98 to 2000 and then reemerged in 2014 and is still running now. And they have two shows coming up. On July 1st, they have Hardcore Heat at the Un Unity Club at 1171 1, St. Cath St. Catharines Street East. And that's in Montreal. And then on August 5th, this is mind-blowing. This makes me want to take a trip to Montreal to see this card. It's scared. Scarred for life. It's at the same place, Unity Center. Don't have to go through the address again. And it's the debut of none other than the Bullet Club members, the Young Bucks. And they're taking on possibly one of the greatest tag teams in Canada, possibly in the world, Tabernacle Dutti. Team. I was mind blown when I saw that. And a few, okay, and now we go, there's a few others. There is some information about them, but again, their websites are in French, and I can't decode this stuff. And you have the Federation de Lutte Quebec, which started in 2001. Northern Championship Wrestling, that started in 1986 and still going. That's the oldest thing that, one I found that's still running. And also, um... But it's unsure if they're still running, though, because there's been no information. On them, but on their Facebook page, they do say they're running events in July and August, so I believe they're still active. And then you have NCW Fans Fatal, which started in 2009. And some of the defunct ones were... Elite Wrestling Re Resolution, which went from 2004 to 2005, based out of Quebec City. Royal Wrestling Ring, from, that went from 94 to 97, based in Verdun. Done. And then you had World All-Star Wrestling, which went from 94 to 95, based from Montreal. Bear with me. I'm almost done. I've hit the mayor times now. Starting with New Brunswick. And they have Innovative Hybrid Wrestling, which started in back in 2005, based out of the greater Moncton area. There are many events happening in July and August. The uh, July dates are the 1st, the 12th, the 14th, and the 15th. And in August, you have the 4th, the 5th, the 11th, and the 12th. All but one of them, one of those dates, I believe it's the uh, 14th of July, are all happening in New Brunswick, whereas the one on July 14th, which is happening in Nova Scotia. Some of the rosters, people in the rosters, 
are uh, Titus, Marcus Burke, and Remy Petit. Then also from New Brunswick, you have NWE Pro Wrestling, which is a new, more of a newcomer, which started only in 2013. It's based out of Miramaki. I do not say it. And the roster, not much more information about it, but I found some of the rosters, which includes their champion, Curtis Isaac Real, um, Sidewalk Sam, Buck 10, Homeless Bob, TJ Taylor, and Delmi Exo. And then also there's no information on the ones I'm going to list in the following. Uh, you got Grand Prix Wrestling that went from 97, uh, from 77 to 92, and then again in 2001 to 2008. I believe this one's still going because they did mention stuff that the, a tour that they had back in 2013. So I believe this one could still be running. It's based at Moncton, and they some of the alumni that participated in this were big names. You have Jay Youngblood, the Cuban Assassin, Rene Dupree, Christian Cage, your current NXT champion Bobby Roode, uh, Stacy Thibodeau, Thibault, and Tessa Blanchard. Also, you have XWA Pro Wrestling, which went from 2007 to 2014, based at Fredericton and St. John, as well as Vision Pro Wrestling based from 2014 to 2016, again based from in Frederick and St. John. I believe the, those last two there, because they don't even have a website, they got nothing. No information whatsoever. Then, we go to Nova Scotia. And there's one very big one that's stuck out like a sore thumb. Ultimate Championship Wrestling, which started back in 2007, based at a spray field, and they're having a province-wide tour in J this month, in J uh, coming up in J July. It's from July 19th to the 22nd. It's called the Summer Explosion Tour, if, and events will take place in York, Yarmouth, Kentville, as well as in Brace, uh, Bridgewater. And those events will feature former WWE Women's Champion and former TNA Knockouts Champion, Victoria, a.k.a. Tara. She will be at those shows, as well on the Ju July 20th, which is the one that's happening in Kentville, you're going to have former WWE World Heavyweight Champion and former ECW Champion Jack Swagger in the main event. So that's pretty big for them. And also they're having a fan appreciation night on July 22nd in, at the Sprayfield Lions Rink in Halifax, Nova Scotia. You might want to check them out if you're in Nova Scotia for the summer. And the only other one that's active is Wrestle Center, which started even like ridiculously early ago, back in 2014. And uh, the last event only ha did happen in March, but featured Tommy Dreamer. It's based in Halifax, and they don't do many shows from what I see. Um, but they're still somewhat active on Facebook, so I believe they're still going on strong. And they do bring very big names, so maybe that's why they don't have many shows. They have few shows, and they're far between. But when they do have a show, they always seem to bring in a big name. They've brought in big names such as ECW original Tommy Dreamer, newly crowned ROH star Cody Rhodes, as well as former Impact champion Ethan Carter III. And... Of course, they have a 
a way more defunct ones than ones that are active. And some of the defunct ones are Eastern Sports Association, based in Halifax, and it went from 1969 to 1975. New Breed Wrestling, which was in Turo, back from 2008 to 2012. And East Coast Pro Wrestling, 2005 to 2010 in Kingston. Again, I wish that one was going on still, because it'd be cool if you had a West Coast organization, an East Coast organization, and you could probably meet in the middle somewhere in, like, Ontario or, like, Ontario and have, like, an East Coast, West Coast battle. That'd be pretty cool. And it'd give people in center, Central Canada to witness talent that's happening on the coast. And as you see, based on all this, so far, it's like they're pretty isolated in their own provinces, excluding uh, Canadian and West Canadian can ugh, Canadian wrestling elite and Destiny. They've managed to cross the other provinces, but many of the other ones stay within their province, maybe because of financial, most likely because of financial reasons. But it would be great to start seeing some of these other organizations come in go across Canada to show like I would love to see some of these champions that are in west the west coast or in the east coast take on the champions in our province like who wouldn't want to see a match between Ethan all ego Ethan Page and massive damage and then okay I'm sorry I was getting off topic I can see it's going on pretty long. Sorry about this. It is going to be a long video. I just never expected it to be this long. So we have Newfoundland. Uh, cutting Edge Wrestling, which went from 98 to 2007, and then came back in 2011 and is still running. They have an event on July 6th. Uh, CEW Anniversary. and uh, ugh. It's just their anniversary show. It's happening at the CLB Armory at 82 Harvey Road in St. John's, which is where they're based out of. And since they're a relatively new organization, they don't have much going on for information. And also you have the new boy, the baby of the bunch out of all these organizations. New Evolution Wrestling, which started only two simple years ago in... 2015, based out of St. John's, roster includes Psycho Mitch, Hellraiser, Justin Locke, and Blake Maxwell. And they've already hosted some big name star stars, which include WE, Hall of Famer, Tito Santana, and former WWE star Eugene. The next event will take place on the 28th and the 29th of August. At the CLB Armory. The defunct ones. Newfoundland Pro Wrestling. From 2013 to 2015. Based in St. John's. And I'm kind of shocked that this is now gone. Because I remember watching this on TV. On my satellite. Legend City Wrestling. Where I was introduced to people like Mr. Fantastic and Congo Kong. And that went on from 2009 to just last year in 2016. And then, whew, I'm at the last province. It's going to be short and sweet. Prince Edward Island. They have one and only one wrestling organization, Red Rock Wrestling, started in 2009. It's based at Stratford. And they have two events coming up in July, according to their Facebook page. And it runs at Mont Montague at the Carved Cavendish Farm Wilderness Center and on the 16th in Summerside at the Credit Union Place. There you go. And I do have family in Prince Edward Island that I've never met, so this would be a perfect way for me to introduce myself to them and say, Hey guys, do you follow wrestling? Can you lead me to a show somewhere? And since PI is so damn small, I can probably easily get to any show anywhere around the island. So that is it. 
Hope you enjoyed my Canada Day special of going all across Canada to tell you about everything that's going on in the country. My God, that was exhausting. I hope you enjoyed it. Sorry if I took almost an hour of your time, but I hope you appreciate it. It was a lot of work for me to put all this together. It took me almost the entire day to put this list together. And I just want to wish you all a happy Canada Day. Hope you enjoy it. Check out one of the shows that are happening on Canada Day. There is many happening across this great country of ours. And enjoy your long weekend. Uh, for Tyler, here in Toronto, Ontario, peace out. And all have a great Canada Day. And happy birthday, Canada. You got 150 years to ya. And hope for many more to come. Peace.